G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. Welcome back to another tackle hack. In this hack, I'm gonna tackle how to tune your hard body lures. Now you may think that's pretty lame, that's super easy. Tuning your hard bodies and getting them to swim straight is pretty basic and straightforward. I would assume most people out there now would have a fair understanding of how to do that. But uh, I'll run through that and then what I've got at the end, my actual hack for this is how to know, detune or untune knock your lure out of tune deliberately to crank pontoons and docks. Um, now it's a bit of a, you know, it's a bit of a technique that's gone under the radar for a while. Uh, it's pretty pretty common on the on the brim scene and uh, it catches a lot of big fish. So stay tuned, I'll get to that in a sec. So for those of you that don't know how to tune your hard body lure, each hard body's got a little toe point, an eye, uh, some will have a ring on there, it's just an open eye, your toe point. If you ever want to, especially trolling, cast and retrieve, you're running your lure, you want it to track nice and straight back towards the rod tip, you want to make sure that eyelet is nice and straight. But if that eyelet is bent either way, one direction, left or right, the lure is going to track that direction. So to tune your lure, you just want to grab a set of pliers, simple, and you bend that eyelet the opposite way to which the way is tracking or swimming when you're retrieving it. And that should correct it. That's how you tune a lure. A lot of you know pre-bulk mass-produced sort of hard bodies that come out of places you know straight out of the box might not be in tune, um, and it's always worth just running it beside the boat or at your feet in the water just to get an idea if it's, uh, it needs a bit of adjustment or not. So once you know how to tune your lure and you've tweaked it and it's all you know swimming straight and it's all ready to go, then you can start hacking it and start doing some crazy cool stuff to increase your chances of catching really big wary fish. So this hack. You know, revolves around brim mostly. Um, you know, dudes that crank pontoons, um, you know, floating docks, that sort of thing for brim. This technique is definitely something you should be doing if you haven't already been doing it. It's definitely something worth learning. Um, it's one of those things that arose in the tournament scene. Uh, it's really good for you know a pressured tournament where people have run hard bodies or cranks down the, along the edge of a pontoon, and yeah, you, know, you come along and you can you know do this little hack and get your bait deeper and right up underneath that pontoon and present the bait in a different way and get it to do something that no one else's baits are doing. You know, it's a it's a real game changer in those sorts of situations and it really does trigger big brim to bite. Okay, so now you know how to tune your lure, why untune it? Why detune your lure? Well, that's where this hack comes into its own. You have the ability to knock your lure out of tune and get it to go in a direction which a lot of people don't do or aren't doing and it gives you the ability to get that bait into places where other people aren't. The blowout technique, the, it, this thing's like, it seriously doesn't really get talked about that much on the tournament scene. I really don't know what name it goes by, you know. The dudes I know that I talk to about it, we just talk about, you know, tuning and cranks or yeah, we, did, we know what we're talking about when we're talking about it. I honestly don't know if anyone's really given it a massive name just yet. So, tuna cranks, cranking docks, cranking pontoons, it's, it's what it is. And it just gets those baits up into a position where, like I said, no one's getting their baits there. The fish aren't seeing the baits in those positions. And when a bait gets up in their face, makes a bit of noise, knocks on their little roof of their house, they just come out and smash the bait. Like it, the big fish just go caution to the wind and they they hit it. Like it, it's a big fish raising technique. You know, it's not to say heaps of other little guys aren't gonna eat it as well. All the fish love it, but those big old wary fish, it's just something new, something that gets in their face and it's just something that they eat. All right, so what are we talking about? We're talking about taking a perfectly tuned lure and knocking it out of tune. Now, we were doing this 20 years ago and the brim scene when it first came out, we were all slow roll and rebel crawdads and stuff. And you know, guys started doing this. They would get their lure and they'd knock it out of tune a little bit, but just to sweep the edge of a pontoon. You know, you got a pontoon floating there. You got a nice hard angled, right angled corner. You got current pushing along. You get your crank up past that current and bring it down with it knocked out of tune, swimming in the direction of the pontoon. And you could get your bait to just cross under the corner of the pontoon, which would take it. You know, into the fish's territory, it'd get the bait deep and undercover, and it was really awesome technique for getting extra bites. So, you know, 20 years later, well not quite, you know, this technique's been around for a little while, but 
you know, the guys out there that are doing the broom scene all the time, that are fishing crank, you know, they, they started going that extra step further. They started twe tweaking that crankbait so much that it'll want to blow out. It'll want to spiral to the point where it's turning as far as it can to that side, can't go any further, will breach the surface and blow out. So you can now tune or detune your little crankbait to blow out on purpose. Get that bait so close to the pontoon that as you crank it down those first couples, nice and slow, just to get it to track under, you give it a few good hard rips, crank that handle, bring in a heap of line, and it'll cause that lure to blow out. That lure now blows out up under the pontoon and whacks that plastic. You know, that makes a noise that the fish aren't used to seeing or the, the bait fish does something that they're not used to seeing. And, you know, once it's whacked there, you just let it drift out. Now, it can be tricky with lines and leaders and stuff like that, but that bait right up under there, you know, that big brim's looking up, it's floating on the roof of his little lair, and it's made some crazy, I'm dying sort of move. They just crunch it, and big old wary fish that are used to seeing a lot of baits come past are a sucker for this technique, and they just crunch it. Um, having the line, the right line, like I, I'm a, I love braid to leader, um, you know, with crank fishing, little hard body stuff, you know, having a full fluorocarbon line, you know, is an advantage. Uh, it just helps you not pull as many hooks. Um, it works really well for this sort of technique too, because you are going to damage your line and pretty constantly going to damage your line. You know, you're getting that lure to run up and curve around the edge of that pontoon and it's hitting the edge every time, which, you know, it leads to more fish lost. You know, if they hit it and you've rubbed it up pretty hard, then, you know, it's one of those things. But it's getting them to bite. So getting the right line for it is, um, yeah, it's part of the game. Um, you know, figure out if you want to run full fluoro, uh, if you're going to run, you know, your, your braid to, to mono, get enough line there that, you know, once you damage a bit, you can cut a bit off and, you know, retie quickly and, and get another bait back in there. But that's personal preference that comes down to what you prefer to use. But um, like I said, yeah, you've got both options. It's, it's doable with both, but um, yeah, it comes down to what you prefer to use. Like a full fluoro is probably pretty advantageous because you can just keep cutting away that chafed up line and you're ready to go again, you know. You don't have to tie a full leader joining, not FG or whatever you're tying, so. Yeah, come comp day, it's good to have a couple of these rigged. If this is your technique you're doing, you know, have a straight rig one for hitting the pylons and things. If you're cranking pontoons all day, have one kicked to go left, have one to go right. Have the option there ready to go. You don't want to have to keep tuning your lure on the fly it'll just be you know, annoying and you are going to eventually damage the lure um, if you excessively tune the heck out of it so keep that in mind um, have one ready to go both ways um, yeah, keep you fishing longer so i've done this technique both ways you know standing up on the bow of the boat getting heaps of room which it is a lot easier you know you've got a whole casting deck and you've got room to move you're up over the line you've got you know you can stab that rod tip down Sitting in a kayak, it, it's doable. I've done it out of that. It's probably not the easiest way to learn the technique, sitting down, um, being upright and over your lure and over your line and being able to see what's going on when you you, know, you first start giving this a go uh, is a bit of an advantage, but you, know, you can do it both ways. Um, you know, if you've only got the yak and you're sitting down, you know, it's just gonna take you a little bit more practice just to get the feel for it, but uh, definitely doable. So um, yeah, don't be dissuaded there. All right, um, that's it. I haven't really mentioned the cranks, they all work. I've done a lot of it with little SX40s. Um, any little hard body you're used to cranking, pontoons and stuff is gonna do it. You can knock all of them in and out of tune quite easily. That's pretty much the hack. Um, learn how to tune your lures. Know what happens when you detune your lures. Get it to work where it's gonna go up in under those pontoons, blow out. The thing is, it, the blowout, as it hits underneath that pontoon, it makes a different sound. It does something the fish aren't used to seeing. The bait's there then in a ready to be ambushed, dead dying bait fish sort of position and yeah, it, it just works. So get out and give that hack a go. Um, if you like this vlog, this hack, you know, give us a like. If you've got any other hacks or things you wanna know, you know, if you've got anything else to add to this, you know, drop it in the comments below. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, uh, please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I love making these vids, I make them for you guys. So. Yeah, if you're keen to jump on board, greatly appreciated. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Cheers.